Doctor of Philosophy, usually abbreviated as capital PH capital D or capital PH period D period, is an advanced academic degree awarded by universities. The first Doctor of Philosophy degree was awarded in Paris in 1150, but the degree did not acquire its modern status until the early 19th century. The Doctorate of Philosophy as it exists today originated at Humboldt University. The German practice was later adopted by American and Canadian universities, eventually becoming common in large parts of the world in the 20th century. For most of its history, even a bachelor's degree at a university was the privilege of a rich few, and many academic staff did not hold doctorates. But as higher education expanded after the Second World War, the number of PhDs increased accordingly. American universities geared up first. By 1970, America was graduating half of the world's PhD in science and technology. Since then, America's annual output of PhDs has doubled to 64,000. Other countries are catching up. PhD production has sped up most dramatically in Mexico, Portugal, Italy, and Slovakia. Even Japan, where the number of young people is shrinking, has churned out about 46% more PhDs. Researchers now warn that the supply of PhDs has far outstripped demand. America produced more than 100,000 doctoral degrees between 2005 and 2009, while there were just 16,000 new professorships. In research, the story is similar. Even graduates who find work outside universities may not fare all that well. Statistics show that five years after receiving their degrees, more than 60% of PhDs in Slovakia and more than 45% in Belgium, the Czech Republic, Germany, and Spain are still on temporary contracts. About one-third of Austria's PhD graduates take jobs unrelated to their degrees. Today, top universities around the world are still picking bright students and grooming them as potential PhDs. After all, it isn't in their interest to turn the smart students away. The more bright students stay at universities, the better it is for academics. But considering the oversupply of PhDs, some people have already begun to wonder whether doing a PhD is a good choice for an individual.